All right, so here we have um, uh, an example of a word problem that we might have to, uh, you know, a type of problem we might have to tackle in the real world. Um, so in this problem, they um, tell us we're going to go ahead and approximate, um, use 3.144 pi. Um, here, if a bicycle tire has a diameter of 26 inches, so I now know that my diameter is equal to 26 inches, um, how far does it travel in 1,000 revolutions? Um, of the tire. So basically, we want to know if we if we move that that um, tire around 26 or I'm sorry, thousand times. How far um, will that tire have traveled? Okay. So in this particular case, what we're going to do um, is I would recommend. Hopefully, you got it. Drawing a picture, and I already did. And here we have an example of a tire um, with a diameter of 26 inches. Now. If you think about it, um, what we really want to know is if you kind of consider this piece right here, if we have it just kind of rotating around here, well, that would be one revolution. Now, if we want to know how far that was, well, really, if you notice, it's just basically traveling around the, it's a new vocab word, the circumference of the circle. So if we can figure out the circumference, then we just basically need to take that and see how much it would be if we added it together a thousand times or multiplied it by a thousand. Now, I know that I have a circumference formula that's just that the circumference is equal to um, pi times my diam diameter, and they told us the diameter. So, in fact, our diameter is just going to be 20 or 26, uh, or circumference is going to be 26 times pi. So, I'm going to leave it like this for right now, even though we are going to approximate in the end. And the reason, well, that is because I want to. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to go ahead and if I want to know the um, total distance, I'm just going to take that circumference, 26 pi, and I'm going to multiply it times 1,000. Okay? And you can use a calculator for that um, or um, a few or you know just some handwritten stuff and we would wind up getting that the total there is just going to be right at about 81,640 inches and again just thinking that if we know that the distance around this is 26 pi okay 26 pi which is about Oh, there we go, 81.64. So if we know the distance around this is 86.14, well then, if we go around once, then we just travel 81.64. Two, well, two times 81.64. Three times, four. And if we went all the way up to 1,000, then it would be 1,000 times 81.64, which is 8,100, I'm sorry, 81,640 inches. Go ahead and continue on and try to solve the other three word problems um, at the bottom of the page and come in with questions tomorrow if you have them. Good luck.